We're going to be pulling out the uh, dashboard uh, and the cluster here to resolder a uh, damaged LCD screen on a 2015 third gen Honda Fit. And uh, the first step, which is honestly the hardest, uh, at least so far, is uh, getting this trim piece pulled off. Um, and the way I did it is I used these little um, plastic, whatever you call them, and just kind of jammed two of them in here and I kind of worked my way up until I was able to get to like this top part right here. You can see all the clips that hold this thing in, um, but I'm really glad that I didn't break too bad. All right, next up is the silver trim ring right here. And the uh, easiest way to get that one is to come in with another kind of piece from the from this little edge right here. And you just kind of pry up, try to pull these clips back and you just work your way around. Um, and then there's also some clips on the bottom right in here. You basically just kind of try to keep on working your way in without breaking stuff. So you can see you got clips here, so hopefully we don't crack them, but I'm just gonna keep on trying to gently Pull this thing out i'll do this uh, off camera and so these are all the uh, trim pieces there are a ton of them uh, that hold this thing into that now we're gonna do the same thing on this guy probably start up in this corner behind this thing and just kind of start working your way in now on this piece um these are all those trim pieces there too so similar story to just kind of very gently working your way behind and trying to get these clips to release so with those two uh, silver trim pieces out of the way, I've got one, two, and then three Phillips screws to remove. And with the three screws out, um, the next thing I do is I push up on this, and that helps you just flip it forward like that. And then uh, you're gonna note that it's getting stuck behind this guy this guy right here so this is the part where it's gonna get a little bit ugly so after a bunch of finagling and um, prying up this piece as much as I could along this line um, I was able to get this kind of right foot off and then the left foot also off and now uh, we've got that connector right here so we just push it down and pull this guy back okay and to get this thing off there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Phillips screws. And then before you just rip it off, you wanna flip it around. And note that you have a little audio connector here that you have to just take off like that. So now that we've got the white cover off, you can see the eight pins on this board. They're on the far left side right here. And so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in with a soldering iron. Obviously this isn't hot yet, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna to touch the tip of your soldering iron to the tip of each one of these eight pins. And we're going to stick some uh, flux around all this, uh, all those eight pins. And you're going to be um, flowing in some new solder uh, onto each one of those guys so that you're getting uh, good connections. Okay, and this is how things look after the solder. I'm not sure that's the greatest job, but we'll see how it goes. This is our uh, test run after we finish soldering. Um, so I'm gonna turn on the car here. We can see that our gauge cluster is working as expected, <laughs> um, which is great. And uh, now I'm going to uh, just basically follow the reverse of all this stuff and uh, putting this back together.